Welcome to Plexus Ortho. My name is Dr. Kanan Kumar. And today we are going to discuss one of the MCQs that we put up a couple of days ago on the Telegram channel. It was MCQ number 267, right? Uh, it says, uh, which of the following conditions predominantly affects DIP joints, first CMC joints and PIP joints? So look at the question very carefully. It says the DIP joints are involved, distal interphalangeal joints. The second, it is saying the PIP joints are involved, proximal interphalangeal joints. And the third is the first CMC joint. First CMC joint is the first carpometacarpal joint of the thumb base is involved. So which condition has this kind of a pattern, right? Uh, you must remember clearly the difference between rheumatoid arthritis pattern and osteoarthritis pattern. I'll straight away give you the answer. In osteoarthritis, it is the distal joints which are involved, Dist DIP and PIP and the first CMC. And the wrist, elbow, ankle are not involved. In the rheumatoid arthritis, the more proximal joints are involved. That is MCP joint and the wrist and elbow is involved. So the bigger joints actually are involved. MCP and the wrist in rheumatoid arthritis whereas the DIP and PIP joint in osteoarthritis. So therefore the answer in this question where DIP and PIP joint along with the first CMC joint are involved is the osteoarthritis. It is not rheumatoid arthritis because the MCP uh, and uh, wrist and elbow is more predominantly involved in the rheumatoid arthritis not ankylosing spondylitis because what happens in ankylosing spondylitis the back is involved the hips are involved most importantly sacroiliitis is involved so sacroiliitis uh, is a is one of the most important things and that should be present for an ankylosing uh, spondylitis diagnosis reactive or rater's arthritis it is not the answer because it can have generalized arthritis this kind of pattern cannot happen in reactive arthritis so the answer is very very clearly osteoarthritis let us look at uh, each of these conditions in little more detail. It's not going to be a detailed explanation about each of these conditions, but how to differentiate between these conditions is very important for your exam because this is a very high yield, uh, high yield question and topic. It's been asked repeatedly. Every other exam, you'll get one question on differentiation between rheumatoid, osteo, and reactive arthritis and ankylosing spondylitis. So you have to know this very well. So all of us know rheumatoid arthritis is a systemic disorder. It's a very common disorder. All, 3% of uh, women and 1% of all males are involved usually in the middle age is when it uh, occurs. It causes rapid deformity. Previously, it used to cause permanent mutilating deformities, but because of good disease modifying anti-rheumatoid drugs, DMARDs, D-M-A-R-Ds, that is disease modifying anti-rheumatoid uh, drugs, um, the amount of deformity and disability in the society has gone down in the last two three decades even in india okay what is it it is an autoimmune response mediated by igm mediated autoimmune response okay so interleukin 1 and tnf alpha is involved so therefore interleukin 1 inhibitor and tnf alpha inhibitors are some of the biologic agents that are used against rheumatoid arthritis so remember interleukin 1 and tnf alpha um, inhibitors or antagonists are used as biologic agents. It first begins to affect the synovium, then it follows the cartilage and finally destroys the whole of the bone. Periarticular osteoporosis or periarticular osteopenia is seen in this condition. Okay, and then you have uh, HLA association in uh, for rheumatoid arthritis is DR4 and DW4. So this is in brief about rheumatoid arthritis. Rheumatoid arthritis basically affects the uh, MCP joints, wrist joint, elbow joint, shoulder, knee and other joints and all of you know the criteria for rheumatoid arthritis diagnosis which we will go through in another video and uh, all of you know the treatment and how do you diagnose it which is the most specific and sensitive test for diagnosis of rheumatoid arthritis it is anti-CCP anti it is anti-CCP which is the most specific and sensitive uh, test for diagnosis of uh, rheumatoid arthritis RA factor is in pos is positive only in 80% of patients. It positive in 80% of patients. It is not as specific or sensitive as anti-CCP. Uh, once you diagnose rheumatoid arthritis, you have to start them on some kind of disease modifying drug. The most common first line disease modifying drug that is used is methotrexate, right? And uh, we have multiple second line drugs including leflunamide, hydroxychloroquine, and then you have multiple. Um, biologics available nowadays you have interleukin 1 inhibitor tnf alpha inhibitor biologics you must know this in a little bit more detail we will discuss this more in another video and of course you're going to learn this quite a bit in uh, pharmacological uh, uh, as a part of your pharmacology videos um, then the second condition uh, that happens uh, that causes arthritis in the hand and legs 
and other joints is a psoriatic arthritis it is a zero negative spondylar arthropathy so anything that is rheumatoid uh, factor negative it is called a zero negative so all other uh, systemic arthritis including reactive arthritis ankylosing spondylitis all of them are zero negative because the um, uh, uh, ra factor is negative in them when you do the serum ra factor it is negative so what is a joint pattern involvement the most common uh, joint involved in the hand is the distal interphalangeal joints other joints pip and mcp are less commonly involved whenever you look at um, the diagnosis of rheumatoid arthritis and osteoarthritis those two you first differentiate and then look at the other things uh, osteoarthritis involve more distal joints whereas rheumatoid arthritis involves the more proximal joints like the mcp wrist and elbow so therefore uh, dip joint is the most commonly involved so, uh, joint in psoriatic arthritis what is it called it is called pencil in cup appearance it is called pencil in cup appearance in the uh, x rays so you can see that this looks like a pencil that the proximal the middle phalanx looks like a pencil and the distal phalanx has formed a cup and this is called a pencil in cup appearance it's also called as arthritis mutilans that means uh, there is a devastating uh, deformity in the whole of the hand which is called as arthritis mutilans psoriasis uh, is an associated condition so you must have a diagnosis of psoriasis to make this diagnosis right so let's let next look at uh, writer's arthritis uh, forgive me for the spelling it is r e i writer's arthritis writer's arthritis is a combination of the tired of three things one is urethritis conjunctivitis or uveitis and arthritis that is a systemic generalized arthritis you can have you can also have enthesitis like uh, plantar fasciitis achilles tendonitis etc but you usually have a triad of urethritis conjunctivitis or u uveitis and arthritis so if they give you these three things in your clinical vignette uh, vignette you must make sure that you take uh, something about writers or reactive arthritis okay and uh, treatment is that this uh, hypothesis that it can be it it is caused by chlamydia infection so the use of antibiotics is like doxycycline or tetracycline is controversial but however disease modifying drugs are also used in this condition so that is writer's arthritis now let's come to osteoarthritis osteoarthritis is age related degenerative natural degenerative changes in the joint so what can you see in the joint this is a normal space joint space or in osteoarthritis you can have osteophyte formation that is these extra pieces of bones which grow up um, in different directions is called an osteophyte there is reduced joint space depending on the biomechanics usually the medial side is uh, involved in case of osteoarthritis there is subchondral sclerosis what is subchondral sclerosis there is increase in the thickening of the bone just below the articular surface this is called subchondral sclerosis these are the changes that you can see in osteoarthritis what will happen in case of the water content this is very frequently asked question water content in the cartilage so what happens to the water content in cartilage it reduces with aging and increases in oa this is a very important difference between these two conditions in aging water content decreases whereas in osteoarthritis the water content increases right so what happens in the hand with uh, osteoarthritis we have discussed uh, quite a bit it says that we know that the dip joint is involved and the pip joint is involved they form bumps on a on the dorsal aspect of both these joints the one in the um, distal interphalangeal joint is called the hebridean's nodes and one in the pip joint is called as the buchards or buchards nodes b comes earlier in the alphabetical order than h so remember that is proximal b is proximal b is in the proximal interphalangeal joint and h that is hebridean's nodes is in the distal interphalangeal joint these are bumps that can be seen in the pip and dip joint and along with the cmc joint is also involved very rarely is mcp in wrist and other joints are involved and this is the differentiating factor between osteoarthritis and rheumatoid arthritis so this is a in brief in the table that differentiates between uh, each of these uh, problems the joints that are involved in osteoarthritis are pip dip and first cmc the joints involved in rheumatoid arthritis are pip mcp and wrist more and the dip and pip is involved in the psoriatic arthritis dip that is the pencil in cup appearance distal interphalangeal joint is seen in psoriatic arthritis what are spared in osteoarthritis wrist mcp joint metacarpophalangeal joint and the ankle joint the dip or the distal interphalangeal joint is almost always spared in rheumatoid arthritis and uh, psoriatic arthritis can involve any big joint as well and it can involve all the joints as well but predominantly the distal interphalangeal joint 
So this is the difference between osteoarthritis and rheumatoid arthritis. So if you basically know the difference between osteo and rheumatoid, you can probably answer most of your questions which are asking you uh, specifically about this specific question about trying to differentiate and uh, trying to put a pattern in it. Osteoarthritis remember is distal, rheumatoid arthritis is proximal. And uh, you can remember it as RAP, rheumatoid arthritis is proximal joints, RA, RAP, rheumatoid arthritis is proximal joint involvement. So that is in brief about this question, it's a very important question, very high yield question in orthopedics, right? So how to differentiate between osteoarthritis and rheumatoid arthritis, very important question. I hope you have got a gist of what uh, this topic entails. Hopefully you will get this question right when uh, this comes up in your exam. My name is Dr. Kanan Kumar. Thank you for hearing me out. This is Plexus Sato. Thank you very much.